Hey again, everyone, thanks for watching the YouTube videos. In this video, I want to give a deep dive demo into a platform called Ocean.io that we have been using that is really, really helping us build way better account lists. I've made a video in the past about their lookalike audience targeting, and today I'm going to do a much deeper video about the whole platform and, and things that I like about the platform and things that, you know, maybe they could add in and things like that. But anyway, uh, let's jump straight into the platform right now. Okay, so this is the Ocean.io platform, and we're going to look, jump straight in and talk about their lookalike search. So we've already done a video on this. So if you have seen that video, I apologize. I'm going to repeat myself a little bit. The This is probably the feature that Ocean.io is known for above anything else. Everybody comes to Ocean.io and they talk about how their lookalike search is so amazing. And I have to admit, it's freaking fantastic. It's super, 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 super good. And so we use it when we bring on a new client. And one of the first campaigns that we run is we basically want to say, okay, who are your best types of customers that you have case studies with? So we can build a lookalike list to those case studies and just go out to those people and say, hey, we're already doing it for this type of company. We could do it for you. Let's go. Unless there's some kind of competitive advantage and they you know, wouldn't want to be cross-pollinating like that. It's always a good idea to be running those kinds of campaigns. So what we could do is uh, just build a list. And so say we were just put in clay.com and then we could get a lookalike list and we can fine tune the lookalike list by saying, this is our primary company that we wanna find uh, lookalike audiences for. And then we can add in more similar companies. So it only has 57 results and all of them look pretty good. Drop contact, Wiz, uh, discover data. You know, this makes sense. Discover data, shouldn't that just be? Zoom info. Anyway, so these are all pretty good data companies, data automation right here, lead jet. Okay, looking pretty good. We can add in another and we could say zoom info. And now we're going to get a lot more hits because their algorithm is is getting a lot better with this. So like Apollo being on this list, Infotelligent being on this list, Exact Buyer being on this list, Lead 411. Great, great. Ocean.io being on this list, you know, they put themselves right at the top. Sales Intel being on this list. Awesome. And so then we could even go to the last page and we could take a look at these companies. We might not know them as well, but then, so look, we've got, this is a CRM and sales automation platform, CRM sales automation. Cool. Sales pro leads, right? all of these things. So it builds amazing, amazing look like filters. What you could also do is if you don't have actual company domains that you want to build lookalikes based off of, you could also use their AI assistance. And so I even did this before and I was looking for um, mobile app marketplaces that deliver alcohol, right? And so if we were to put that in, let's see, what are we going to get? So now if you don't even have like good once, and so the client that I was thinking of, drizzly.com, is precisely, precisely the company that is their case study, and it nailed it here, right? And so we've got all of these delivery companies right at our fingertips, and we're good to go. So lookalike audiences, awesome. Love that about the tool. Super, super great to work with. Uh, makes list building. I say, like, list building on a fly, you know, super easy. So then what you can do from here is you could also dig into their filters and do even more. So you can filter on top of the lookalike search, but then you could also filter over here. And so what I really wanna call out here, a lot of these things are similar to what other platforms have. There's a couple things to definitely call out. One, the industry tags. It, it, it's very, very good for segmentation. See, if I just put in SaaS, you know how hard it is to get a list of SaaS companies, but see, we could just put in SaaS and there's 101,000 SaaS companies on this list. And looking through these, these are all SaaS companies. And so we could even go to like page 200 because you always want to check later on SaaS companies. Here we go. SaaS, SaaS, SaaS. Awesome. And so now we have all these SaaS companies, right? And then we could look into their keywords and we could include CRM. And so now we have a really great list of SaaS companies that are CRM companies. MuleSoft, okay, that's a good one. Zoho, Oracle, awesome. 
And so th what I like about their keywords, they have a lot more keywords to choose from than a, a, a platform like Apollo.io. And the industry tags are w far more sophisticated and tagged a lot better. So when you're doing really niche searching, Ocean.io helps out a lot. Location count is pretty interesting. Department size is pretty interesting. Oh, so e-commerce is very interesting. So if we, if we were to pull this one away and we were to say, um, what do I want here? Food and beverage because I'm hungry. So let's say fruit, right? So we have all these fruit companies and then we want to find only companies that are e-commerce companies. Awesome. So then we look at some of these. Yep. Fruit of the Loom. Okay, <laughs> that I kind of missed it a little bit. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, so Fruit of the Loom missed it a little bit. That's kind of funny. And so, uh, anyway, then we so we have this e-commerce filter here over here. Then we have the social media channels that they are on. Annual revenue. I never really use revenue, but that's fine. Year founded is pretty interesting. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Brands and products is pretty interesting. Because what this allows you to do is you can look and see if they have any case studies mentioned on their website. I haven't found a great use case for this, but it is pretty interesting that you could find things like that and then products as well. So if I were to put underwear, right? Let's see. Oh, Fruit of the Loom, you didn't show up? Oh, wow. I'm so sorry, Ocean, that I'm doing this to you on my YouTube video. But uh, I, I hope you get the point that you can do really, really targeted searches on ocean that you might not be able to do on uh, another platform that hasn't taken as much care with tagging their companies and things like that and even if you just you know take some of these things away right so we'll take away the the fruit and we'll take away e-commerce and then we'll just look at you know company location we just want it to be in the united states right so they've got 7 million companies tagged in the United States. I think LinkedIn has 30 million in total. So that coverage is is pretty great for just the United States, right? Um, so anyway, this is just a quick overview of Ocean.io that I wanted to give everybody. Uh, it's quickly becoming one of our favorite platforms that's joining our, you know, tech stack along with Clay and, you know, everything else that it comes with. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy this video.